Mastering the system brings wealth and skill. I don't want to live in the spotlight, but I can't hide the light. Keywords of the novel The system allows me to have multiple financial and artistic works without pop-ups, the system allows me to download the complete collection of financial and artistic works, and the system allows me to read the latest chapters of financial and artistic works. Chapter 1 Welcome Collection You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Welcome Collection The author is working hard to save the manuscript, and the babies they like will be collected and brought home first. We look forward to the future together, end of this chapter. Chapter 2 Multi-Finance and Multi-Art System You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Multi-Finance and Multi-Art System In December 2017, the atmosphere of Christmas surrounded the commercial districts of the city in the mountainous city. Shopping centers in various areas began to decorate with Christmas-related items, such as red hats, red socks, snowflake stickers, and small Christmas trees. However, these holiday decorations were particularly eye-catching for Zhang Junyi. Because I don't know when it started, Christmas, a foreign festival, gradually evolved into a couple's exclusive holiday in China. However, as a single dog, Zhang Junyi has no right to enjoy such a solar term. Zhang Junyi, a native of Shanqing, was born in 1990 and can be considered a typical sad reminder child from the 1990s. Why is sad reminder? Because when Zhang Junyi was in junior high school, he just ushered in the explosive period of Chinese online games, such as Legend, Fantasy Westward Journey, and then Dance Troupe and Tianlong Babu Wait, some of the golden periods of Chinese online games have had a devastating impact on Zhang Junyi's academic performance. During middle school, his parents were still able to control him. However, during his residency period in high school, Zhang Junyi completely released himself and became addicted to online games. Skipping classes and staying overnight in internet cafes is a common occurrence, but in the end, I didn't get into college and had to choose a college degree on the recommendation of my teacher. Speaking of Zhang Junyi's university, associate degree, that's impressive. It's the famous Sichuan University of Fine Arts, Sichuan Academy of Fine Arts. However, Zhang Junyi is not a professional art student. But at that time, Chuan Mei offered an associate degree in graphic design. Because during Zhang Junyi's college years, there were not many art students in his major, and there were too many top art colleges in China. Therefore, Chuan Mei opened its associate degree program more for the school's revenue generation. Zhang Junyi studied graphic design in a daze, and he chose this major because it requires the use of computers. As a result, playing games takes more time than studying, and the profession is a mess. After graduation, Zhang Junyi had good luck and worked at a movie studio specializing in wedding photography. After several years of work, he borrowed money to buy his first car, Volkswagen Bora. Fortunately, he encountered a money-burning battle with taxi apps. Zhang Junyi decisively quit his job at the movie studio and went to run Didi specifically. During the money-burning battle among various taxi apps, Zhang Junyi really made a lot of money every day from his sports car, earning at least 20,000 yuan per month. However, the subsidy for the money-burning battle did not last long. And Zhang Junyi has resigned from his stable job at his film studio and now relies on sports cars to make a living every day. The salary for sports cars, whether it's more or less, can solve the problem of basic needs without any problems. The only advantage is that working hours are relatively flexible. The neon lights in the mountain city at night made the city magical. Zhang Junyi welcomed the first passenger of the evening rush hour, a young man. After taking the order and getting on the car, he drove his vehicle along the navigation route and shuttled through the streets of the city. After driving for five minutes, the passenger said, Master, can you hurry up a bit? I can't hold it anymore, it's almost pulling. Zhang Junyi increased the throttle and said calmly, I'll try my best to hurry, but you must not believe every fart of yours. Listening to Zhang Junyi's response, the passenger burst into laughter and said, Ha 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 you're really a bit comedic. 
Zhang Junyi glanced in the rearview mirror and casually said, I'm not comedic at all. I just hope you don't let me go through the entire evening rush hour. If I can't hold it anymore, I'll take you to the nearby business district first. Perhaps it was some humor, which made the passenger understand and say, then you can take me to the commercial district. I'm so afraid I can't bear it until then. Zhang Junyi didn't answer and arrived at the commercial district about ten minutes down the road, releasing the passengers from the car. I don't know if he was influenced by the passengers, but Zhang Junyi also felt that his bladder was a bit swollen. He temporarily parked his car on a street-side path for convenience. Zhang Junyi, who got off the car, is 180 centimeters tall. In fact, the height is only 178.6 cm, but wearing shoes can result in a height of over 180 cm. During his college years, Zhang Junyi had dated several girlfriends due to his height. Although his appearance may not reach the top level of a handsome guy, he thinks he's not bad. After Zhang Junyi started taking ride-hailing services online, his irregular lifestyle and lack of exercise directly led to his body weight reaching 180 pounds. Although it may seem particularly overweight, there is still some flesh on the body. The vehicle was parked on the side of the road, and after Zhang Junyi went to the bathroom and returned, he watched as his beloved car was scraped off and the perpetrator was nowhere to be found. Zhang Junyi ran all the way to his driver's door and felt very deep scars. The primer was completely exposed, and the door also had the deformation caused by scratches. Because Zhang Junyi specifically chose a place without surveillance to temporarily park the car, it is impossible to find the perpetrator now. Zhang Junyi can only stand on the street and curse angrily, go bang, which turtle cut off the skull. Wishing you a good baby. Unable to receive a response to the scolding, I reluctantly opened the car door and returned to the interior. Sitting in the driver's seat, Zhang Junyi's heart was filled with anger. He was still muttering, 300 is not enough. Because this was not only a loss of 300 yuan for repairing the car, but also because he couldn't take on the order during tonight's rush hour. The more he wanted to, the more angry Zhang Junyi slapped the steering wheel. However, at this moment, a mechanized voice appeared in Zhang Junyi's mind. Congratulations, you have bound the Duo Kai Dui system. Since ancient times, only with wealth can one have multiple skills. Because learning each skill not only takes time, but also money. Nowadays, the cost of each skill revolves around money. Please showcase your skills to the world so that people can choose the skills they love. First time binding reward, wealth. 20 million Chinese coins. Skill. Skiing. The next skill unlocking condition. About the, the skiing guide, video or text introduction, with a total of 10,000 views. As the mechanized sound faded from his mind and Zhang Junyi was still in a daze, his personal bank account was credited. China Merchants Bank. Your account 5678 was reviewed on December 10th, with a revenue of 20 million yuan and a balance of 20 million 23,596.78 yuan. As Zhang Junyi stared at the payment information on his phone, he noticed that his hands began to tremble slightly. Wa Chao, do you want to receive a large payment at night? Please rest assured that after two days of review and investigation, the large funds have been approved and will be dispersed in the afternoon, resulting in a delay in payment. At this moment, Zhang Junyi's palms were all sweaty, and he began to mutter to himself in confusion inside the car, Am I going to become a millionaire? Unlock more skills and gain more wealth. Zhang Junyi muttered, Do you have many wealth and skills? The system has educated Zhang Junyi on what it means to have multiple wealth and skills. Listening to the system's explanation, Zhang Junyi nodded. Indeed, in this era, wealth and art are inseparable. Without money, what do you use to learn skills? Even if you learn the skills, you still have to spend money to consume artistic talent. Qin and chess, if you want to pursue advanced skills, do you want a better qin? As for calligraphy and painting, pigments, paper, pens, do you want money? Skiing, surfing, 
golf, these so dot called sports do they cost money? Do you want to spend money on equipment to go to a ski resort, diving area, or golf course? Even for running, you need a pair of good running shoes to reduce your bone expenditure. No money, go play in the mud. No, when you play with the thing, mud, out of the world, mud also has its own characteristics. Zhang Junyi sat in the car, still digesting his sudden wealth. When he had no money, he thought about many things to do with money, such as buying luxury homes, buying luxury cars, eating delicacies that he never wanted to eat, and eating big lobsters and abalone. Because as ordinary salaried people in the inland, these often thousands of ingredients are simply not willing to buy on a daily basis. After all, the salary is only five or six thousand yuan. Even if it's seafood for the Chinese New Year, it's just some shrimp, cheap flower crabs, small abalone, crawling shrimp, and so on. Who would buy a dish worth thousands of yuan, such as emperor crabs and crayfish? As an ordinary person, after getting rich, the first thing that comes to mind is not how to make money, nor is it about making investment plans. The first thing that comes to mind is the most simple, food, accommodation, transportation, and this is probably the idea of the vast majority of ordinary people. After thinking for a while about eating mountain treasures, buying luxury cars, and living in luxury homes, Zhang Junyi wanted to unlock more skills and wealth. Zhang Junyi muttered to himself, why is skiing the first skill? But Zhang Junyi quickly came up with the answer. As a southerner who hasn't seen a single snowfall in ten years, wouldn't he yearn for the snowy scenery of goose feathers in the north? Skiing allows you to enjoy the beautiful snow scenery while also enjoying the passion of ice and snow sports. When Zhang Junyi was thinking about skiing, various skiing techniques were imprinted in his mind. Suddenly, Zhang Junyi felt like he had been skiing for many years. Even at this moment, when he thought of the snow rink, he had a restless feeling of wanting to leave. He even wanted to immediately step on the snowboard and go to the rink to find that excitement. Just as Zhang Junyi's mind was full of skiing, his phone suddenly rang, and a call broke his imagination of the ski resort at that moment. Caller ID, Li Li. Zhang Junyi picked up the phone and said, Miss Li, is there anything wrong with calling at this time? A soft voice appeared on the other end of the phone, Junyi, you won't forget about my things, will you? Zhang Junyi pretended and said, how could I possibly forget? I promised you something, and I'm sure there's no problem with it on my end. I just want to remind you not to forget, after all, I made a reservation with you a week in advance. See you in three days. End of this chapter. Chapter 3 Selection of Skiing You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Selection of Skiing Li Li was a model that Zhang Junyi met while working at a wedding photography studio, because when customers were asked to choose clothing in the studio, they had to first look at the model's upper body effect before making a choice. Li Li's height is around 165 cm, and her body proportions are very good. After wearing high heels, she can be considered a fair-skinned, beautiful woman with long legs. But her most lethal thing is her smile. She has a first love-like appearance, and when she smiles, it always gives people a sunny and comfortable feeling. If you want to compare with someone, it's similar to Zhang Runan. Youth, sweet smile, healing. Because, wedding dress models need models to show sweet smiles, who wears wedding dresses with a worried face. And her smile is the biggest feature. She, who used to be a print model, switched careers and entered the live streaming industry. Live streaming can be said to be a very popular project among young people in the past two years, and with her invincible smile, she is doing well among small anchors. Although she didn't become a super anchor, she still took advantage of the popularity of live streaming in the past two years and made a little money. On weekdays, Zhang Junyi occasionally goes to watch her live broadcasts, but for a beautiful girl like her, Zhang Junyi has no intention of provoking her because he is still very self-aware. And this time she took the initiative to contact Zhang Junyi because she heard that Zhang Junyi was driving an online ride-hailing service. 
and she wanted to rent Zhang Junyi's car out of outdoor program effects, so she tried running an online ride hailing service. Because she doesn't sing very well and dances poorly, she chose outdoor live streaming. She has tried everything from having picnics and barbecues by the riverbank to street chatting, to delivering express delivery and takeout. Recently, she doesn't know what she's thinking and wants to try ride hailing services online. So she contacted Zhang Junyi to rent his account and registered car, and went to ride hailing online. She gave Zhang Junyi 800 days from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Because Zhang Junyi thought that the time she proposed was not during the peak season of sports cars, and that she also had the company of beautiful women and a salary of 800 yuan, Zhang Junyi agreed. Of course, Zhang Junyi will accompany the car throughout the entire process, and will communicate with customers when accepting orders in advance. However, Zhang Junyi has to be responsible for being the cameraman during her live broadcast. After hanging up Li Li's phone, Zhang Junyi remembered that his car had already scraped and he couldn't drive an injured car. So Zhang Junyi started his vehicle and headed towards his familiar repair shop, saying, I'm going to repair it now. I wonder if it's in time. Because the car door is still slightly deformed and requires sheet metal, the repair time usually takes about three days. Zhang Junyi drove his car to the repair shop, negotiated a price of 300 yuan, and left the car there. He then took a taxi home by himself. On weekdays during this evening rush hour, Zhang Junyi was still running an online ride hailing service outside, and didn't even have time to eat. After all, this time was one order after another, but he came back early today. He is currently renting a house outside. Although he lives in the same city as his parents, he rented his own house because he runs an online ride hailing service and his work hours are extremely flexible. In order not to disturb the rest of the elderly, he is more free to do so. He didn't choose to live with his parents to save rent or anything. Zhang Junyi's parents were both former lay. off employees of state. owned enterprises, and their houses were factory dormitories previously owned by the company. After the demolition of the factory dormitory, I bought a new house, but I couldn't afford it if there were too many. It has even been mentioned multiple times that after Zhang Junyi gets married in the future, they will give up their house and renovate it as a newlywed house, while the elderly couple will apply for public rental housing. Perhaps this is the current situation of the vast majority of ordinary families. After returning home, Zhang Junyi collapsed on the sofa in the living room, constantly flipping through the bank's account information. Although I have read many novels before, when I become the protagonist of a novel, I always feel a bit unreal. Looking at the 20 million yuan lying in the card, Zhang Junyi had an indescribable feeling in his heart. He first transferred 20,000 yuan to his mother. The mother who suddenly received the money immediately called to inquire, and Zhang Junyi evaded by saying that she had recently made some money from stock trading, to reassure them. After being evaded by his mother's inquiry, Zhang's father continued to call, and Zhang Junyi lied and said, Do you know about cryptocurrency? Because during the news broadcast of this virtual cryptocurrency, Zhang Junyi even talked to his father about it, and his father reminded him not to speculate. After the domestic ban on trading in September, cryptocurrency suddenly increased from 300 Huaxia coins in January this year to 20,000 US dollars. Zhang Junyi told his father that when he heard that it had changed from 300 Chinese dollars to 20,000, and it was still in US dollars, he was a bit confused, but he didn't ask how much money Zhang Junyi had earned. My father just instructed Zhang Junyi to stop when he made a profit, because it was similar to the stock market. Zhang Junyi said he has already stopped. Father said to have dinner together again, while Zhang Junyi just said that he has been a bit busy lately and will go back in a few days. After hanging up his parents' phone, Zhang Junyi returned to his room and opened his computer because he still had to consider skiing. He searched for some skiing-related videos on Xiaopa Station and Douyin and found that there were very few videos related to skiing, and the click-through rates were very low. After all, this sport is not so popular in China, and there are many children in southern cities who have never seen a snowy day, let alone skiing. 
no wonder the system only requires 10,000 views. Zhang Junyi took a look at the skiing video posted on Xiaopa Station and found that there were not many viewers, only a few thousand. And short video platforms, as well as skiing photos posted on their necklaces, feel more like showing off their wealth. Short videos, Weibo, and stories about skiing locations either in Switzerland or Hokkaido are simply a showcase of Akira. Perhaps for those of them who truly love skiing, such a place is a skiing paradise, but in the eyes of ordinary people like Zhang Junyi who are busy with survival every day, this is just showing off. As Zhang Junyi looked at these photos of his scarf, he muttered suspiciously, Are you going overseas? But I don't know English or Japanese. Now that he has money in his pocket, he can certainly choose to go abroad to enjoy it, but language has become the biggest challenge. At this moment, the system voice rang in my mind. Language is the only skill that can be purchased, only one million Chinese coins. Do you need to purchase it? When listening to the language purchase that required one million Chinese coins, Zhang Junyi's poor illness occurred. Wait for me to consider, and besides, isn't your phone equipped with translation software? And I don't know if you can pass the visa yet. After all, for Zhang Junyi, a piece of language costs 1 million yuan, which is the price of a small apartment in the mountain city. Moreover, Zhang Junyi had no sense of being a wealthy man at this moment, and he still felt that he was just an ordinary person. So his idea is to save as much as possible, after all, even if he has an additional foreign language in his ordinary life, it will not greatly improve his life. He doesn't live overseas, why do he need a foreign language? When it comes to visas, the system responded in Zhang Junyi's mind. Any country that requires skills to arrive will be handled by the system after the visa is submitted. Where's the best place to go? Zhang Junyi began to aimlessly browse the internet, looking at the location, skiing equipment, equipment, and photography equipment. As Zhang Junyi, who has been working in a film studio for many years, choosing film and television equipment is much simpler. This year's new Sony A7R 3 is the best choice, and the lens is also Sony's GM generation. You may be a bit more expensive, but who calls Sony Big F good? Zhang Junyi placed an order for these photography equipment on a certain eastern side, but these more commonly used photography equipment combined are not as expensive as skiing equipment and skiing clothing. As for the ski equipment with raised eyelets, Zhang Junyi ultimately decided to go to a physical store to purchase, as many things require on dot site wearing to determine whether they are comfortable. For this skiing trip, Zhang Junyi ultimately chose Hokkaido and traveled from Tokyo. Because the magic city of Tokyo is a paradise that men have always dreamed of, Zhang Junyi also has many yearnings for this city, such as Akihabara in the anime, and the soft and cute cherry blossom girls, etc. Turning off the computer and lying on the bed, it was already midnight, and Zhang Junyi was tossing and turning, unable to sleep. He didn't fall asleep until around 6 o'clock in the morning, but after sleeping for less than 4 hours, he felt energetic and woke up again because there were still many things to do today. He has to bring his passport to apply for a visa, and he plans to go see the car and house. I have 20 million in my pocket. How can I justify myself if I don't spend some? In the morning, Zhang Junyi went to the embassy to apply for a visa. In the afternoon, he went to the car market because Shancheng is not as plain as Sichuan, so it is not very suitable for supercars here. If it's just for the sake of traveling around the city, it's okay. If you want to drive a supercar up the mountain to eat some farmhouse delicacies, it's 100% impossible to drive on these steep mountain roads in the mountain city. Zhang Junyi first arrived at the BMW 4S, after all, men all have a BMW dream. Upon entering the store, the salesperson warmly welcomed them, as entry-level models like the BMW 3 Series have become affordable for many families after the economic boom in China, and many young people have chosen the 3 Series. Hello sir, do you have any preferred car models? Zhang Junyi smiled at the sales lady and said, I'll take a look for myself. Sir, I am relatively young. 
I would recommend the 3 Series Sports model, which is our best dot selling car series. Zhang Junyi arrived at the center of the booth, and a BMW 5 Series parked in the middle position. However, it was not an ordinary 5 Series, but an absolute suit thug named M5. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 My Anchor Friend You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 My Anchor Friend The center of BMW's fourth son's exhibition area is occupied by a BMW M5, which has the highest value in the entire exhibition hall. The appearance of BMW's M5 is very low. Key. If you don't understand cars, this is just a 5 series, priced at around 400,000 yuan. But in fact, its price can be bought as a Porsche 911. As Zhang Junyi stood in front of the BMW M5, the sales lady smiled and said, this is a performance sedan carefully crafted by our BMW's dedicated performance department. The price of this car. In fact, Saleswomen in BMW have seen many young people like Zhang Junyi come to see the M series, but the vast majority only look at it and not buy it. Even if it were the salesperson herself, she wouldn't choose this car, after all, the Porsche 911 in the same price range is more fragrant and more in line with the taste of young people. Most of the people who buy this car are middle-aged people who are in their 30s, have very favorable economic conditions, and have a family. Because this car can not only enjoy the pleasure of performance, but also balance household use. And Zhang Junyi can tell at a glance that he is in his 20s, a sports car of the same age and price range that is more in line with their aesthetics. Before the sales lady could finish speaking, Zhang Junyi turned to look at her and said with a smile, Do you have a car in stock? The sales girl listened to Zhang Junyi's words and suddenly experienced a bit of downtime. Her originally prepared words suddenly froze. After Zhang Junyi said, hmm, the sales lady finally showed a warm smile and said, yes, but it's price. Because this car can be said to have sold very little since its launch this year, especially compared to its competitors, the Mercedes E63S, which has undergone interior modifications this year, is really low. Key. Zhang Junyi smiled and nodded at the sales girl, saying, I know the price of this car is about the same as the Porsche 911. However, I am Bimmer. As Zhang Junyi claimed to be Bimmer, the sales lady smiled and said, Well, wait a moment. I'll go find the manager and give you a discounted price. By the way, are you taking out a loan or? Zhang Junyi's gaze remained fixed on the M5, and he responded casually, Full payment. When the sales girl looked at Zhang Junyi, who was dressed very ordinary, and casually said the full price, she was still touched, after all, the price of this car can buy a house in the mountain city. So Miss warmly said, Sir, come with me to the VIP lounge to rest for a while. I'll go call the manager. No, let me take a look at it. Can I try getting in the car? Originally, this car was not meant to be viewed while sitting inside, but John Junyi is about to become the owner. The sales lady responded, of course, you can try getting in the car and I'll go call the manager. On the way to the office, the little sister ran and called for her colleagues to come and take care of Zhang Junyi. A few minutes after the manager arrived, Zhang Junyi arrived at the VIP room and signed and swiped his card. Then he sat in the lounge and waited for half an hour before the car arrived. There was no pick-dot-up ceremony at the dealership, but it was left at the entrance of the dealership. Many people who came to buy cars watched as Zhang Junyi held a pick dot up ceremony at the entrance of the car dealership. Many people who came to buy a car looked surprised when they saw the pick dot up ceremony at the door and found out that they had picked up the M5. Even a couple who came to buy a car saw Zhang Junyi receiving many gifts and curiously asked her boyfriend, Are there so many BMW gifts? Her boyfriend could only smile and say, There are indeed many but only the one he bought. That's the M5. It costs 1.7 million yuan to land, and some Porsche 911 models may not be as expensive as it is. When he heard that a car was worth a house in the mountain city, his girlfriend was dumbfounded and said, so expensive. 
Why not buy a house? We don't understand the world of wealthy people. As a BMW enthusiast, John Junyi only understood what low dot key means when driving this 5 series in comfort mode on the streets. Because no one looked at him, if it were a Porsche 911, there would be no turning back rate in the mountain city. Even taxi drivers and domestic private cars, when faced with his car, which is worth nearly 2 million yuan, do not consider it a luxury car in terms of parking or overtaking. This is really too low. Key. Whether or not the outside world looks at him, Zhang Junyi is sitting in the car, feeling very satisfied. Zhang Junyi drove to the business district and immediately bought himself a Porsche version of Huawei phone. The car doesn't have a Porsche, the phone is the same as a Porsche. After strolling around the business district and buying two pairs of sports shoes, as well as Nike's down jacket, Zhang Junyi happily returned home. Because he received a call from Mr. Dong and his package arrived. Camera, lens, tripod, stabilizer, drone, and Apple computer. As a movie studio, these equipment are very familiar to Zhang Junyi. After receiving the goods, he held his camera for a long time without using it, so he took these things to shoot the night view of the mountain city. Unconsciously, three days have passed, and Zhang Junyi has not been driving outside these days. Every day, he carries his own camera to take landscape photos and videos. These things that he once put down are now being picked up again. On this day, Zhang Junyi had a lot to do. He woke up in the morning and took his repaired car to the second dot hand market for processing, because he wouldn't be running any more DD in the future, so keeping that car would be meaningless. And his father, in the future, can drive his BMW. Zhang Junyi knows that in the future, his own car will definitely be more than just this one. As noon approached, he went to the vehicle management office to register and no longer used temporary license plates. BMW 4S, here we gave a decent license plate to Zhang Junyi, which is half sold and half given away. The license plate is UA. DD 555. It's almost 2 o'clock when Zhang Junyi and Li Li agreed to leave the vehicle management office. Zhang Junyi didn't even have time to have lunch, so he drove to the agreed location. The two of them made an appointment to meet on the pedestrian street. Before Zhang Junyi could arrive, his phone rang and he said, Junyi, have you arrived yet? Zhang Junyi responded, Here we are. I'm looking for a parking spot in the parking lot. You can find a milk tea shop for a while. Okay, call me when you arrive at the mall. Perhaps in five minutes, Zhang Junyi arrived at the parking lot. After getting off the car, he called Li Li, and soon the two agreed to meet on the floor. From afar, Zhang Junyi saw Li Li, who was chatting with her water friends with a selfie stick and a bun head. She was wearing a loose sweater, tight fitting black leggings, and a pair of snow boots. The already youthful and beautiful appearance has added some cute styles to the backdrop of the meatball and sweater. And what Zhang Junyi is wearing today is the new clothes he just bought. He wears a Nike down jacket with a hoodie underneath, black jeans underneath, and sports shoes. Zhang Junyi walked towards Li Li and said with a smile, Miss Li, it's been a long time since we last met. After seeing Zhang Junyi, Li Li showed her signature healing smile and said, it's been a long time, Junyi. By the way, it's okay to show your face, isn't it? Zhang Junyi nodded and said, no problem. After obtaining Zhang Junyi's permission, Li Li came to Zhang Junyi's side and framed him in her own camera. Then she introduced her water friend, this is my friend who borrowed my car today, Zhang Junyi. Zhang Junyi watched as many bullet comments drifted, saying, you're the DD driver. Don't be fooled by our lily. Stay away from our lily. After looking at these bullet comments, Zhang Junyi completely ignored their words and said to Li Li, Let's go, I'll go buy a cup of milk tea first. Li Li smiled and said to Zhang Junyi, Okay, I'll treat you. By the way, I won't delay your sports car, will I? According to a water friend, I'm doing a live broadcast on Didi, so it may not be easy to take orders. The two of them chatted while walking towards the outside of the mall, 
as there were more milk tea shops on the street. As for live streaming running Didi, in 2017, there were really people doing this on the host. But those are all male anchors who specialize in driving luxury cars with beautiful women. Zhang Junyi responded, I don't know if it's good or not to take the order, after all, I haven't run through Didi live streaming before. Let's wait for someone else to take the order and call them. If they are willing to take a seat, then cancel it. Lili nodded and then said to her water friends, I won't be able to decide whether or not to take a seat, so I'll have to give it a try. After all, this is not for delivering takeout or express delivery. Thank you to Wu Jaij for sending the plane. Today's mission, everyone help me out. Watching her constantly communicating with her water friends, Zhang Junyi quickly walked outside the camera towards a milk tea shop in the shopping mall and walking block. After both of them chose milk tea, while waiting for it to be made, Li Li took out her phone and turned to ask Zhang Junyi, how have you been running Didi lately? Zhang Junyi said, it's okay. I can support myself mainly because I have more free working hours. It's not like before when I had to work on time every day, but I've never finished work on time. I see your live streaming effect is good, the anchor level is almost 60. Li Li could only shake her head helplessly and say, I've been a live streamer for over two years, and I'm only at level 60. Other big streamers have already reached their full level. There's no way, I don't have talent. Zhang Junyi smiled and said, why are you earning more than before? That's just some things that are hard to describe in one word. The milk tea was ready, and as they walked towards the garage with milk tea in their hands, she was busy communicating with her water friends. Zhang Junyi looked at her as if she were a close audience member, constantly smiling towards the camera and chatting with water friends. In front of Zhang Junyi's BMW, he unlocked his vehicle. At this moment, Li Li looked up at Zhang Junyi and said, Are you using a BMW to drive Didi? End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Is packed with a big wave. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Is packed with a big wave. When Li Li looked at Zhang Junyi's car as a BMW, she was still very surprised. Because she thought, Didi must be a car worth around 100,000 yuan but Zhang Junyi's car is a BMW. But Li Li thinks she still has a lot of face. After all, when she came out to run Didi, Zhang Junyi drove a BMW. At least in terms of face, she can justify it. BMW is definitely much better than those cars that cost around 100,000 yuan. However, when the bullet screen in Li Li's live broadcast room saw that Zhang Junyi's Didi car was a BMW, it immediately began to become a second-generation wealthy person. A car worth two to three hundred thousand yuan is not a luxury car, is it necessary to make a big fuss? If it weren't for my Lamborghini not having a back seat, I would have driven it out and asked Lili to do Didi. Hey, upstairs boss, little brother, I only have a Porsche 911. Of course, Zhang Junyi couldn't see these eerie bullet comments. He took out the car key and unlocked the vehicle, then said to Li Li, get in the car, you go to the driver's cab. Li Li nodded with a smile and went to the driver's cab with her live streaming phone. Just as she sat in the cab, the camera caught a special M sign on the seat cushion. At this moment, the bullet screen in Li Li's live streaming room appeared, look at the steering wheel, Li Li looked at the water enthusiasts in the camera in confusion and asked, look at the steering wheel. What's nice about the steering wheel? Although she said so, she still turned the camera to shoot the steering wheel. When two special red buttons appeared inside the steering wheel the person who understands cars in the live broadcast room became boiling. Wachow, it turns out to be a hidden big shot. I'm sorry and disrespectful. This is not the M sports bag of a small BMW, it's M. Power. Worship the big shot. Is this the M number? Dot. The four door BMW M only has M5. Dot. Big shot, big shot. Li Li Yue became increasingly confused and said, What big shot, what M are you talking about? 
At this point, Li Li's property manager spoke up. They are all talking about the Big Shots car. This is not just an ordinary BMW, but the top performance car in the BMW family and currently the most expensive model in the BMW family. The minimum price of this car must be over 1.5 million yuan. In the barrage, there was a message floating. I checked and found that the BMW M5 is priced at 1.43 million yuan, with a landing price of at least 1.7 million yuan. Those who buy M5 are really big shots, what they need is to be low dot key. If I had the money, why not buy a Porsche sports car? Zhang Junyi watched her conversation with Xue Yu and secretly chuckled beside her, because he had secretly installed a super large beep in it. When Li Li looked at her fellow water enthusiasts talking about the value of Zhang Junyi's vehicle, she turned her head to him and asked in a daze, Junyi, no, Junyi brother. Water enthusiasts said that your car costs more than 1 million yuan. Is it true? Zhang Junyi pretended to be indifferent and responded casually, well, it's about the same. After Zhang Junyi admitted the value of the vehicle, Li Li immediately said, forget it, forget it, I dare not drive your car. Zhang Junyi pretended to be very free-spirited and waved his hand, laughing, he he, it's not that serious. Drive it, what's there to be afraid of driving? Besides, isn't the car bought for driving? Is it just for home decoration? As long as you don't choose the track mode I set up, that's all. Although Zhang Junyi asked her to drive, after knowing the value of the vehicle, she really dared not drive anymore. In case of any bumps and dents, she would leave for tens of thousands of yuan. Li Li looked at Zhang Junyi with a very surprised look and said, Didn't I hear that you're running an online ride hailing service? Do you usually use this car for online ride hailing? That's not. However, just as Zhang Junyi was about to answer, the phone in his pocket rang and interrupted his conversation. He took out the phone and looked at it to see if it was a landline number. He picked it up with confusion. Hello, who is it? Hello, is this Mr. Zhang Junyi? This is the Foot Basin Consulate in Shancheng. Your visa has been issued. Please come at 2 p.m. to collect your visa. Zhang Junyi didn't expect his visa to come down so soon. Didn't it say online that it would take about a week? When applying for a visa, Zhang Junyi did not choose to mail it home, so he needs to go and collect it on the spot. Because their consulate is located in the busiest area of the city, it's just a matter of stepping on the gas for him as a local. Is it two o'clock in the afternoon? Okay. When Zhang Junyi answered the phone, Li Li's live broadcast signal was aimed at him, and many people in the live broadcast room were saying, Wachow, Huawei Porsche, it turns out to be a real big shot. More than 10,000 phones. I used to naively think that all the wealthy second generation would wear luxury goods, so there are still those wearing Nike. Zhang Junyi hung up the phone and said to Li Li, Um. I have something to do this afternoon. I need to go to the Foot Basin Consulate. My visa has been issued, and I need to go back first to collect the receipts and documents. As Zhang Junyi was about to apply for an RB visa, Li Li Lu showed a surprised expression and asked, Where are you planning to go to RB? Zhang Junyi deliberately pretended to be like he often goes to RB and said, Is winter here? I plan to go skiing in Hokkaido. Coincidentally, RB has relaxed our visa policy this year, so I want to sign a long dot term visa to avoid having to apply for a visa every year. When Li Li, like Zhang Junyi, a southerner, heard that he could ski, she was quite surprised and said, Do you know how to ski? Zhang Junyi nodded with a smile and said, Well, if you're free, let's schedule a skiing trip together. I'm a bit sorry about today's situation. How about treating you to dinner tonight as an apology? Li Li seduced Zhang Junyi with her sweet smile and gently waved her hand, saying, It's okay, it's okay, after all, you're willing to drive such an expensive car for me. I'm a novice driver and I dare not drive it. Can I go with you to get a visa? My water friend in the live broadcast room was arguing, wanting to feel the sound of your car. 
will you accompany me? But I need to go home first, I need to go back and get my documents and receipts. Because Zhang Junyi's rented house is very ordinary and does not belong to the luxury housing category at all, and his car and rented house do not match at all. To put it bluntly, it's a matter of face. He wants to show off his image as a wealthy person in front of Li Li. Because when we worked together in a film studio before, she was a model and Zhang Junyi was a photographer at the studio. Their communication was limited to work and they never talked about each other's lives. And back then, Zhang Junyi knew very well how much he weighed, and he didn't have the financial support to pursue models. So she doesn't know Zhang Junyi's background, Zhang Junyi only knows that she is a model, that's all. Listening to Zhang Junyi's slight refusal, Li Li could only say, all right, we'll have dinner together when we have time. Zhang Junyi said, okay, I'll go back and collect my documents and receipts first. Once I receive them, I'll call you back here. You'll be live streaming in the commercial district for now. After I get your visa, I'll treat you to dinner tonight. That's okay, Li Li nodded and got off the driver's seat. After switching to the driver's seat, Zhang Junyi ignited the engine. When the engine exploded with a strong roar, Zhang Junyi pressed the car window and said to Li Li standing next to him, Sorry, wait for me for a while. I'll come back and get something. Immediately after, Zhang Junyi drove away with the vehicle, and he intentionally opened the exhaust valve, making the explosion and backfire sound even more explosive in the parking lot. After Zhang Junyi left, countless malicious barrage appeared in Li Li's live broadcast room. Are we leaving now? Isn't the name of the live broadcast room run an online ride hailing service today? Isn't this brother a borrowed car? Brother, being able to borrow the M5 shows that his social circle is different from ours. You're even saying something like, car and wife don't lend out, about a 3 series BMW, let alone the nearly $2 million M5. What are you joking about? I think it's rented. Everyone knows that there are car rental shops for sports cars, but I haven't seen any car rental shops renting out M5 yet. Anchor, didn't you say that your friend runs ride hailing services online? Why doesn't it feel like it's not like it? Li Li Lu showed a very helpless expression, and she responded, I just heard that he is running an online ride hailing service, and I don't know him very well about it. When I was still working as a print model, he was a photographer in a studio. After we exchanged WeChat, our contact was all about work and we never talked privately. By the way, half of the wedding photos I showed you were taken by him. He used to be a photographer. So now why do we take ride hailing services online? People who can learn photography have good family conditions. Looking at the questions from the water friends, she was also a bit confused. It can only be said that she knew too little about Zhang Junyi before. Of course, she used to think that Zhang Junyi was just a photographer in a studio, and she never had the intention to care about the background of this photographer. Although Zhang Junyi looks decent, there is still a bit of distance between him and the person she is looking forward to in her heart. She knows very well how much money a studio photographer can earn in a month. It is obvious that Zhang Junyi's income at the time did not meet her inner expectations. Because in today's society, everyone understands one thing. Money is the cornerstone of relationships, not to mention having emotions and drinking enough water. Even men have the same realization. As long as I have enough money, what kind of woman cannot be found? So when the two exchanged WeChat, they wouldn't chat either, after all, she didn't have the idea of taking private photos for free. It wasn't until today when she watched Zhang Junyi drive out a luxury car worth nearly 2 million yuan that she developed some curiosity, interest, in him. After all, for those who can buy a car worth nearly 2 million in the city of Shanqing, their family conditions are definitely good. You should know that the average salary for ordinary jobs in the entire mountain city is only 3.4k, and as long as it is not a top dot level area, the average price for most newly built residential areas is only around 15,000 yuan. A car is worth a house, and the conditions at home are imaginable. 
End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Visa Obtained. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 7. Chatting. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 7 Chatting Asian men have a special plot for cherry blossoms, and this plot may be due to watching a lot of anime there during their student years, and starting to receive special education from teachers, when they mature, or is it rumored that cherry blossom girls are particularly gentle. Anyway, when men talk about Sakura country, the things that appear in their minds always bring some indescribable evil smiles. Is Tokyo really hot or not? This is probably something that all men want to personally experience. So after obtaining the re-visa, Zhang Junyi was very excited in his heart. Because I once imagined that I would go to Tokyo to see the places in the comics, Akihabara, the holy land of the anime, and Shinjuku Yifun Street, where I was drunk with money at night. And just as Zhang Junyi was still immersed in the excitement of multiple visa trips over the past five years, his mind began to outline the scene of trying to approach the cherry blossom girl. Immediately after, the image of a gentle cherry blossom girl appeared in the fantasy. When you returned home in the evening, she had already prepared hot meals and soup for you to take a bath. When you took off your clothes to take a bath, she gently came to the bathroom to rub your back. Thinking that some classroom scenarios were about to begin, Jean Junyi wore an unknown smile at the corner of his mouth and without any hesitation exchanged for the skill of Japanese proficiency. The sudden appearance of dizziness made Zhang Junyi feel dizzy, just like the sudden onset of dizziness symptoms during hypoglycemia, coming and going quickly. In just two or three seconds, the dizziness subsided, but at the same time, Japanese language appeared in Zhang Junyi's mind. It feels like a person who has studied abroad in Tokyo for many years. As long as it is something he wants to express in his heart, he can express it in Japanese at any time, as if Japanese is an instinct. A moment of dizziness passed, and Japanese language came to mind, followed by a wave of fee deduction news, one million Chinese coins. After the text message rang, Zhang Junyi took out his phone and looked at the fee deduction information in the displayed balance information, which was 17.34 million yuan. Looking at the fee deduction information, Zhang Junyi replied with a stingy look. He lightly slapped himself and said, Is one million just gone? He, who has not yet become accustomed to becoming a wealthy person, is still a bit calculating when it comes to large deductions and not being able to see the actual things in front of him. One million, is a small apartment in the mountain city gone like this. Although it cost over a million yuan to buy a car, the car was in front of him, and it was the car he had been dreaming of. Even today, he even installed a wave because of this car. Before that car, Zhang Junyi was thinking of earning 800 yuan from Li Li. After all, he is very aware of his income and cannot have any development opportunities with a beautiful model like Li Li. But now it's different. Not only does he have a vehicle that reflects his identity, but he also has money in his pocket. As the saying goes, money is the courage of men. Having money naturally increases one's courage. He now has the confidence to meet beautiful women whom he once dared not touch. If it were for someone like Li Li who was invited out before, and Wan Yi said they would go eat western food or something, it would be easy to get a meal of two to three thousand, and most of the month's salary would be gone. But now it's different. Don't talk about western cuisine. If you want to go to Yenjing to eat Yenjing roast duck, Zhang Junyi can go eat it right away. To put it bluntly, money is the confidence that men have when it comes to women. As long as you have enough money, it's not strange for you to come into contact with celebrity artists. However, if you don't have any money, let's forget it. It's also good to go home and play games and watch anime. After the salary is paid, going to a bathing center can solve many problems, or you can watch the teacher's educational videos and practice the Kirin arm. When Zhang Junyi came out of the consulate holding his passport, his smile was very bright. And now that the live broadcast had ended, Li Li walked towards him and said, Why are you suddenly so happy? 
Zhang Junyi smiled and slapped his passport in his palm, feeling extremely happy. The five-dot-year visa has been approved, of course it's worth celebrating. Do you know the difference between a five-dot-year visa and a one-dot-year visa? Li Li shook her head slightly and said, I'm not quite sure about this. I used to ask Taobao for help with obtaining my visa for going abroad. Zhang Junyi explained to Li Li the functions of the visas he saw online, as if expressing his frequent travel abroad. A typical travel visa is a one-dot time one, only 15 days, while my five-dot-year multiple round-trip visa allows me to stay for up to three months at a time. Most travel visas are arranged for a week, which is a bit rushed for travel. It's possible that I won't be able to go to Osaka after going to Tokyo this time. And I can go anywhere within five years without restrictions. As long as economic conditions permit, you can even go there every weekend to eat sushi and come back on Sunday. Listening to Zhang Junyi's words, Li Li deliberately covered her mouth and laughed. She could actually hear Zhang Junyi's exaggeration in front of her. Who would come back after eating sushi over the weekend? Zhang Junyi smiled and opened the zipper of his clothes, stuffing his passport into his inner pocket. I'm just describing it. After all, the snow season has arrived, and this time I can not only try the ski resorts in Hokkaido, but also many RB ski resorts. Zhang Junyi looked at the Monument to the People's Liberation in the mountain city and continued saying, Since we have all come to Monument to the People's Liberation, shall we turn around here? To be honest, I haven't come here for a long time since the Guanin Bridge was repaired. Li Li smiled, nodded and said, I may not have come here for two years. I remember that the places where people in Shanxing played were all in Monument to the People's Liberation a few years ago, but now they have all moved to Guanin Bridge. Zhang Junyi pointed to a Starbucks nearby and said, Let's go and sit at Starbucks for a while. By the way, should we go to the food street to buy something to eat? Lili nodded and the two of them walked toward Starbucks, waving in response to Zhang Junyi, Forget it, forget it, I'm too lazy to squeeze with outsiders. If you want some snacks, go back to Jiangbei to eat. Douyin, after the Hongya Cave caught fire, the delicious street was already filled with tourists from other places, and the locals were all crowded to Guanin Bridge. What would you like to drink? After the two of them entered Starbucks, Zhang Junyi pointed to the newly vacant spot and asked her to take it, while also asking her what to drink. I want caramel macchiato. Zhang Junyi went to the front desk, ordered two cups of coffee, and then ordered three desserts. Strawberry cake, tiramisu, and red velvet. Zhang Junyi has never been so luxurious before. He mostly goes to Starbucks with friends, at most it's just a cup of coffee. And the purpose is to sit on outdoor seats and install X in the pedestrian street, pretending to be very tasteful. And now not only did I buy coffee, but I also bought three desserts for the beautiful woman. As for whether the dessert tastes good or not, it doesn't matter. For women, the appearance of the dessert is enough. Zhang Junyi carried a tray and sent the desserts back. When Li Li looked at Zhang Junyi and bought the desserts, a sweet smile like sunshine appeared on her face. What kind of dessert should I buy? Just buy a cup of coffee. Their desserts are expensive and not delicious. For a beauty of her level, being invited to drink Starbucks on a daily basis is already very normal. And those licking dogs who came knocking on the door were all very generous one by one. Zhang Junyi responded with a smile, It's okay, it's okay. You've accompanied me to collect my visa. I have to express my gratitude, right? While waiting for coffee, Li Li looked at Zhang Junyi with his legs crossed, and suddenly realized that he seemed quite good. So at this moment, she didn't take out her phone to reply to her water friend group, but started chatting with Zhang Junyi, I didn't expect you to hide so deep before. As Zhang Junyi smiled and looked at Li Li's youthful smile, he still had many evil thoughts in his heart. At the same time, he responded, where did I hide something? Li Li deliberately cut the cake and occasionally looked at Zhang Junyi, saying, 
after working in a film studio for so many years, no one knows that you are still a hidden second-generation wealthy person. I asked Wang Yuan Yuan a while ago, and she said you were running an online ride hailing service. It is obvious that Li Li mistook Shang Junyi for a wealthy second-generation with very good family conditions, because she knew that Zhang Junyi had always worked in a cinema, and the salary there could not support him to buy a car close to 2 million yuan. As for Wang Yuan Yuan in her mouth, she was a salesperson at a film studio. When she was working at the studio, she had a good impression of Zhang Junyi, but Zhang Junyi felt that her appearance did not meet his aesthetic standards, so he always pretended not to know. In fact, when a man pretends to be a wooden fish in his emotions, he is 100% completely uninterested in the person who has a favorable impression. Zhang Junyi has resigned now, but occasionally Wang Yuan Yuan still sends messages asking how things are going. He said that although he had left, our friendship couldn't be broken, so Zhang Junyi told her that he was running an online ride hailing service. At this point, the coffee is ready and the front desk is already reciting names. Zhang Junyi got up and brought back their coffee. As he handed Li Li the coffee, he smiled and answered the question, What kind of rich second generation am I? If even I were considered a rich second generation, there would be countless rich second generations in the country. The more Zhang Junyi said this, the more Li Li felt that Zhang Junyi's family was not simple, so she half jokingly said, By the way, I heard from Shui Yu that the price of the car you bought can be used to buy a sports car. Why don't you buy a sports car? Don't men like sports cars? At this moment, Zhang Junyi was drinking coffee while listening to Li Li's words. However, he laughed and said, If this is the Sichuan plane, then I would buy a sports car. Not to mention the distance, let's talk about the parking lot in the commercial district where we met today. If I were to drive a sports car in, I would have to call a trailer out. The slope of the underground parking lot in the Shanxing commercial district is not suitable for sports cars. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Difficulties in Hosting. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8. Difficulties in hosting when the monument to the people's liberation, the most prosperous scenic spot in the mountain city, first appeared in the neon, the bustling atmosphere here was even better. Because Hongya Cave, not far from monument to the people's liberation, is the most famous tourist attraction in the mountain city of the online celebrity city, and also the place where every visitor who arrives in the mountain city will clock in at night. Before going to Hongya Cave, many tourists will choose to find food near Monument to the People's Liberation because it has the largest snack street in the mountain city in various chain hotpot restaurants in the mountain city. However, as authentic mountain city people, they will never eat hot pot at Monument to the People's Liberation. Not that the hot pot here is not authentic, but that the price of hot pot restaurants open to tourists is generally higher, which is not cost-effective for local people. After Zhang Junyi and Li Li came out of Starbucks, the street lights had already turned on. Zhang Junyi looked at Li Li beside him and said, What would you like to eat tonight? Hot pot, barbecue, or steak? Li Li looked at Zhang Junyi with her particularly healing smile and said, Just eat whatever you want, and you'll have to go home and pack your clothes later. Didn't you book a flight to Tokyo early tomorrow morning? And when Li Li said these words, she seemed to use a tone of anger towards Zhang Junyi. It felt like he had left her, with a hint of coquettishness in it. In fact, while they were chatting in the afternoon, Zhang Junyi booked a flight to Tokyo early tomorrow morning. Moreover, Zhang Junyi made a great effort to book business class in front of Li Li, as this is a business class for international flights and it's not just a little expensive. After obtaining his visa, he thought about going to Tokyo as soon as possible. The reason for choosing to go to Tokyo is that there is no direct flight from Yamashiro to Hokkaido. Zhang Junyi thinks it's good to go to Tokyo first, because there is an anime in men's minds. And he can stay there for three months at once, so don't worry. As for my own anchor friend, don't worry, take your time. Zhang Junyi is very clear about men. Don't actively approach them and become a licking dog. 
especially if she sees a little bit of her own details like today, don't rush to ask her out again tomorrow. At this time, don't take the initiative to invite, let alone think of taking advantage of the hot iron, otherwise it is easy to be manipulated by women. But it's about pretending not to care, having a bit of patience, just like before, Zhang Junyi never takes the initiative to contact her. Still maintaining this, wait for her to take the initiative to take the bait. What if I don't take the bait? Change your goal, she's not the only beautiful woman in the world. Since Li Li said that he could eat freely, Zhang Junyi simply chose the hot pot restaurant near Monument to the People's Liberation. Although the hot pot restaurant here is not cost-effective, it can be said that he doesn't care about money so much. Sitting in the lively hot pot restaurant in Monument to the People's Liberation, most of the guests here speak Mandarin. But the mountain dialect of Zhang Junyi and Li Li appears very down dot to dot earth in this restaurant surrounded by Mandarin from other places. Zhang Junyi chose Wang Laoji when eating hot pot because he had to drive later. Before the two of them were waiting for the hot pot to boil, Zhang Junyi asked Li Li, By the way, your live broadcasts have been pretty good in recent years, haven't you? After all, there must be a million yuan, right? Why haven't you thought about buying a house yourself? And last year, house prices hadn't even risen. When talking about buying a house, Li Li shook her head and said, That's as easy as you think, and girls are very expensive. The highest time I received 10,000 yuan a month was the most spectacular time I've ever been a live streamer, and it was only that once. Li Li continued, When I first received a monthly salary of over 100,000 yuan, I first rewarded myself with a luxury bag. As for saving money to buy a house, I really can't save much money, and my profession doesn't have a provident fund loan, so I can only get a commercial loan. If I can't spend the money on buying a house all at once, I basically can't save it. Because the money I save here hasn't risen as quickly as house prices. Especially when housing prices more than doubled last year, I immediately gave up the idea of buying a house what she said is a fact, first of all, women themselves spend a lot of money. When you don't have money, you can still use slightly inferior brands for cosmetics, but when you have money, cosmetics will definitely use high. End Brands And as a streamer, she still carries a touch of beauty, so she has to constantly purchase clothing. Even if it's Taba, those tens or hundreds of yuan belong to those who are cutting meat with a slow knife. Even if it's rotating to wear, at least 30 sets of clothing must be prepared for a summer. According to a set of three days, there are always 90 days of summer in the mountain city. After the winter styles come out, the prices of the clothes will become even more expensive, and she also works part-time outdoors, unlike other beauty anchors who keep sufficient heating at home and wear autumn styles. When doing outdoor activities on the streets in winter, there must be at least three to five sets of rotating cotton and down jackets. Women, after having some savings in their pockets, why should they always be satisfied with one or two luxury bags to fill their appearance? Also, there are rent, utilities, coal, and meals outside every day. There is also an annual gathering of water enthusiasts, and outdoor activities often involve calling out water enthusiasts for a meal or something. So she doesn't have the ability to buy a house in full, and it's almost impossible for her to rely on saving money. At least a broadcaster like her cannot afford a house. Don't look at her level 60 anchor. Based on experience, she may have received a gift of over 3 million. But deducting the platform's share, then deducting the company's share, and finally deducting personal income tax. The money in her hands, combined with the expenses of her over two years as an anchor, makes her savings really limited. After Li Li calculated this account for Zhang Junyi, he could only shake his head with a smile and say, I thought the anchor was very profitable. But according to your calculation, he is just a bit more comfortable in life than a salaried worker. Li Li immediately said, Some anchors can still make a lot of money but it's just that I don't make much money as an anchor. Timo knows, right. She can make tens of millions of dollars a year without any problem. In any industry, anyone who can reach the top is profitable. 
You've been live streaming for over two years, haven't you met any tycoons in the live streaming room? I heard that someone spends hundreds of thousands of dollars in the live streaming room overnight. Lily rolled her eyes and said, if you give me a reward of 100,000 yuan, I'll just call out to you through the screen, big brother, big brother, big brother. Do you think you won't beat your chest when you wake up the next day? The hot pot was boiling, and Zhang Junyi was scalding his belly while asking, didn't you just say you received a salary of 100,000 yuan in a month? So, the monthly turnover was at least 250,000 yuan or more, right? Isn't it the big brother who gave you the reward? Speaking of her past stories, Li Li sighed and said, Hey, when it comes to my recent live broadcast, that mysterious guy gave me a reward and asked me to go play in the Magic City. But during that time, my live broadcast room was still popular, so of course I wouldn't go. If I did, my entire character would collapse. Li Li continued, Since then, there hasn't been a big brother in my live broadcast room. Occasionally, when I'm lucky, I can receive a reward of several thousand or ten thousand yuan, but my live broadcast income has been declining in the past two years. What are you doing after leaving the cinema? It's impossible to really do ride hailing, right? Zhang Junyi nodded and said, Well, after leaving the cinema, I really went to do some ride hailing for a while. Maybe I was used to being busy, and at that time, I was a bit confused and couldn't find a direction. Because after graduating from school, I entered the cinema and worked there for several years. I was really interested in photography from the beginning, and then became numb. When my interest became a job, I developed a sense of disgust. Li Li really can't figure it out. Zhang Junyi has shown good economic conditions, why do they want to do ride hailing online? So she asked, since you came out of the cinema, you haven't thought about traveling or shooting scenery or opening your own small shop or something. Your family's conditions can fully support you to open a small shop or something, right? Zhang Junyi pretended to be mature and said, during the time I came out of the cinema, I had already developed a dislike for photography. How could I possibly take some natural scenery photos? As for opening a small shop, besides photography, what else could I do? So during that time, I basically went out for a ride-hailing service around 10 p.m. to chat with passengers and find myself. Li Li looked at Zhang Junyi and said, So what do you plan to do in the future? Zhang Junyi smiled happily at this moment and said, Do what you want to do. If you want to ski, wait for the snow season to come and go skiing. If you want to surf, go surfing, and if you want to drive, drive your car. Of course, I will record all of these and post them as a, a vlog of life on the website to share with everyone. As she listened to Zhang Junyi's future plans, she looked at him with some surprise and said, Are you planning to become an up host? Recently, many people on Xiaopa Station are uploading their vlogs. Moreover, Xiaopa Station started with anime, so this time you can make a good VLOG record in Tokyo as the beginning of your video journey. Oh, I really envy your life. Wherever you want to go, you can go anytime. Zhang Junyi smiled and said, What's so enviable about this? You can't go anytime if you want, and I've seen many outdoor anchors who are not just going to Tokyo, but also bringing exotic live broadcasts to everyone. The fixed number of people in my live broadcast room who receive a month's reward is not enough for round-trip airfare. Zhang Junyi widened his eyes in confusion and said, No, I see there are quite a few bullet comments in your house. What's the use of having multiple bullet comments? Have you thanked me for the gift a few times today? Li Li's words really choked Zhang Junyi, and he could only nod and say, Well, let's just pretend I didn't say it. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Going to Tokyo you are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 9 Going to Tokyo After dinner, they came out of the hot pot restaurant to the center of Monument to the People's Liberation, where tourists from all over the country have gathered. At night, the Monument to the People's Liberation became extremely lively, especially at the end of this year, colored lights had been hung on the street trees of the pedestrian street. 
There are also Christmas decorations and other items posted on the shop windows of merchants, adding a romantic atmosphere to the upcoming solar term. Zhang Junyi looked at the festive atmosphere on the street inside, watching the festival come again, how do you celebrate it? Li Li sighed and said, what else can I do? Festivals like Christmas and New Year's Day that are suitable for couples to spend together, as female anchors, we must have live broadcasts. During holidays, except for Qingming and Spring Festival, we can take leave. Christmas and all of these must be live streamed to indicate that we are single. Only when we remain single, will our water friends give us support and rewards. Christmas and New Year's Eve are indeed very suitable holidays for couples to spend. However, during such holidays, if female anchors take a leave, most of them will feel that they have gone to celebrate with their boyfriends. If a female anchor is found to have a boyfriend, it can be said that she will explode immediately. Then she asked John Junyi in reverse, and you, have you been at RB for the new year this year? How long are you going to play this time? For a week, or half a month? John Junyi shook his head slightly and said, well, maybe I'll have to stay there for at least a month, right? Maybe I'll cross the new year in Tokyo before heading to Hokkaido, and then stay there for another half month. If it's fun, then I might come back before the spring festival. You know, the snowy scenery of Hokkaido is very attractive to southerners like us. Even if I don't have skiing time, I can go out and play. Listening to Zhang Juni's description, Li Li was thinking something in her heart. She said, I just saw the snowy scenery of Hokkaido online and have never been there before. Now, as you talk, I have an impulse to go to Hokkaido. After hearing these words, Zhang Junyi turned his head to look at her and smiled softly, if you want to go, go ahead. I'll wait for you in Tokyo first. How about we set off together towards Hokkaido? Zhang Junyi's words made Li Li keep waving her hand and saying, you're joking, you're joking. I can't even get busy with live streaming here, how can I have time to play on RB? Okay, treat you to dinner when I come back from RB. Let's go and take you back. Lili nodded and agreed, okay. Driving, Zhang Junyi escorted her back to Guanin Bridge. Because it was a temporary stop on the main road of the pedestrian street loop, Lili got off the car, so the two only had one goodbye. The polite response to their next meal appointment was to leave separately. Lili's return to Jiangbei was only approaching 8 o'clock, and then she opened her live broadcast again on the pedestrian street. The water friends asked her, where did you go to play with that tycoon this afternoon? What am I playing for? I accompanied him to get his visa and had a hot pot dinner at Monument to the People's Liberation. If I really want to go out, do you think I will have a live broadcast with everyone in the pedestrian street at this time? Water enthusiasts are so strange, if Zhang Junyi's appearance is poor, his condition is poor. It's best to have a fat house and drive a domestically produced car for 100,000 yuan, so water enthusiasts will definitely not have any complaints. But Zhang Junyi's appearance is decent and he also has money, which makes these psychologically troubled water enthusiasts jealous. In the eyes of these pathological water enthusiasts, the anchor is their wife online, and they are everyone's common wife in their live broadcast room. However, in reality, she is absolutely not allowed to have contact with wealthy people, let alone handsome people. Once they have contact, their twisted hearts feel that the anchor has betrayed everyone. As if I gave you a reward, you should be our online wife. You are betraying us by going behind our backs to interact with other men. Zhang Junyi drove back to his rented community, registered his new license plate with the property management, and then went home to tidy up his clothes. There are not many winter clothes for men in the south. Zhang Junyi either wears a cotton jacket with a hoodie or a short sleeve tee dot shirt with a down jacket. Because the coldest time in Shancheng is just hovering around zero degrees, a down jacket is completely enough. As for what has a large amount of plush filling, like school uniforms sold on Taobao, some northeastern exclusive parka coats cannot be worn in the mountain city. 
A regular 300-gram plush sports brand is enough to cope with the entire cold winter season in the mountain city. Zhang Junyi looked at the winter clothes in the cabinet, and all he could take away were warm underwear and a pair of black jeans, plus the one he was wearing at the moment. Because the weather in Hokkaido is around minus 10 degrees Celsius, his southern down jacket is definitely not enough, and he will have to buy it again. And after he went to Tokyo, he also had to buy skiing equipment and so on, so he decided to buy the clothing together. After all, skiing was one aspect of his trip to Hokkaido, and he also wanted to explore the ice and snow world. After packing up his clothes, Zhang Junyi put all the most important photography equipment in his bag. Camera, drone, GoPro, stabilizer After finishing everything, he sat in his room holding his phone and started booking hotels. When he didn't have money, he used to choose cost.effective homestays when traveling. But now, he has over 10 million in his pocket. So this time Zhang Junyi won't let himself stay in any homestays, his gaze is directly fixed on 5. Star. As a top international city in Asia, Tokyo boasts the world's top hotels, and Zhang Junyi is I. Catching among these top 5. Star hotels. After browsing countless travelogues online, Zhang Junyi ultimately chose the Anmen Resort Hotel. Anmen, a luxury resort hotel brand, has always been located in scenic and peaceful places. On the Huaxia side, the Anmen Hotel is located in the Summer Palace in Yanjing, Lingyin Temple in Hangzhou, and Lion Peak in Lijiang. Site selection has always been Anmen's top priority, and the hotel's architecture will cater to the local style. Zhang Junyi browsed the official website of Anmen Hotel and felt that he had been planted with grass by this hotel, so he chose it. Tokyo Amon is the first urban resort hotel built by the resort brand in the city. After watching some videos filmed on YouTube, Zhang Junyi found that although the hotel is located in a bustling financial district like Otamakai in Tokyo, its style still maintains its consistent vacation style. The interior decoration is entirely composed of wood and natural rocks, and the style of the room decoration alone gives people a sense of comfort. Yes, Tokyo Anmen embodies the vacation style in the city. The only vacation brand in Tokyo that can be compared to it is the top resort brand of the Shino Group, Hongshi Noa. The next day, at 8 o'clock in the morning, Zhang Junyi's plane flew directly from Shanxing to Tokyo. This is Zhang Junyi's first experience of international aviation's business class, and he can comfortably rest in the business class seat during this trip. Yes, lying comfortably on the plane. When Zhang Junyi used to fly economy class, he felt that his legs couldn't even stretch. However, business class allows him to rest comfortably while lying down. And this airplane meal is not a cheap airline burger, boxed lunch or something. This flying lunch actually has a menu, and there are many more drinks to choose from, and even wine to choose from. The business class on international flights reflects the saying that those who don't spend money are not. After a comfortable flight of five and a half hours in the air, Zhang Junyi landed in Tokyo. After dragging his suitcase out of the airport, Zhang Junyi looked at the Japanese language indicators and automatically translated all the textual information in his mind, without any language barriers. After arriving, the first thing to do is to exchange money, purchase the watermelon card required for commuting, purchase tram tickets, and RB SoftBank Unlimited Online Card. Zhang Junyi exchanged 500,000 yen in cash at the airport. You can swipe your card when staying in a hotel, doing cosmetics, or shopping in a mall. But eating, street snacks, and buying tickets to the ski resort all require cash. After preparing everything at the airport, he dragged his suitcase onto the tram alone with some excitement. In Tokyo, men have some personal fantasies about this city, and Zhang Junyi is no exception. Is the cherry blossom girl as gentle as rumored? Is there a fool inside the tram like in a movie? Is the clip sound in the maid's coffee evocative? Also, will there really be high school students standing on the streets waiting for assistance? Various bizarre things are waiting for Zhang Junyi to personally explore. On the Express NEX from Narita Airport to the city center, 
the language that Zhang Junyi heard the most was not Japanese or English, but Chinese. Moreover, there are dialects from all over China in the carriage where Zhang Junyi is located. Zhang Junyi was lucky to have a seat by the window. After putting his luggage on the luggage rack, he sat in his seat and waited for the departure. However, at this moment, a beautiful woman with extremely delicate features was dragging a large suitcase and carrying a double-shoulder leather backpack on her shoulder, which felt like moving. Okay, actually many women's overseas trips are like her, with big boxes and backpacks. At this moment, she was facing the seat with the ticket in her hand, and when Zhang Junyi looked at her exquisite appearance, he was eagerly anticipating in his heart, come here, there's nothing next to me. When a man takes public transportation alone, he always hopes that a beautiful woman can sit next to him when he sees her getting on the bus. I don't know if heaven had heard what Zhang Junyi was saying in her heart. This beautiful woman with extremely delicate features really came to the position where Zhang Junyi was sitting. She first checked the registration number on the car seat, then glanced at Zhang Junyi sitting by the window, and then looked at the luggage rack. She first put her large backpack on her shoulder onto the luggage rack, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Sakura Models You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Sakura Models This beautiful woman has chestnut-colored long hair, wavy curls, and extremely delicate three-dot-dimensional features. She is wearing a black cashmere coat, paired with a women's white shirt, and a fitted black jeans paired with Martin boots. Height, visually around 170. Her facial features are a bit profound, with a tall nose bridge and big eyes. Her facial features feel a bit mixed, but her face has a completely Asian appearance, resembling the feeling of a minority beauty in southern China. At this moment, she came to Zhang Junyi's seat with her bag in hand. She lowered her head and checked the ticket in her hand, then took off the bag on her shoulder and placed it next to Zhang Junyi. Then, she pulled her own box over. Then she propped up her luggage with both hands and made a loud, hm, sound, stuffing her bag onto the luggage rack first. The beautiful woman pushed her bag onto the luggage rack and looked down at her oversized suitcase. Zhang Junyi, who was originally sitting next to her, felt embarrassed to sit in silence. He spoke to her and said, I'll do it. After that, Zhang Junyi stood up. The woman responded with a very strange accent, Thank you, please. Zhang Junyi put her suitcase, which weighed at least 30 kilograms, on the luggage rack. As he sat back in his seat, he said to the woman, The suitcase is so heavy. Did you put a shot put inside? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The woman apologized by bowing to Zhang Junyi repeatedly, and her actions made Zhang Junyi realize that she was not from China anymore because the saying of bowing and apologizing is rarely seen in China now. Zhang Junyi looked at her in confusion and said, Aren't you from China? She still responded to Zhang Junyi in a very restrained Chinese, No, I'm from RB. When Zhang Junyi heard that this woman was not from China, he could only smile and give her a thumbs up. Your Chinese is very good. The cherry blossom girl politely waved her hand and responded in suppressed Chinese, No, no, I just learned. Thank you for your help. Are you here for a trip? Zhang Junyi responded, Hmm, I'm here for a trip. You're carrying big and small bags like this, you just finished your trip, right? While the two were chatting, the vehicle started moving towards the direction of the city. The cherry blossom girl said, I just returned from China, so it's possible that we're still on the same flight. Zhang Junyi was a bit surprised when she said it might have been the same flight coming together. Because there are really few RB people going to play in the mountain city, most RB people would choose big cities like Yanjing and Magic City when going to China. So he curiously asked, Oh. You came from China, which city did you go to? I came back from Yangcheng, she laughed when talking about Yangcheng, perhaps thinking of the wonderful time of this trip. Not to mention, her delicate facial features make her smile very beautiful, and it adds some charm to her femininity. Zhang Junyi said, it turns out that Yangcheng has returned, 
so we're not on the same flight anymore. Maybe the landing time is similar. After you go to China, what do you think of Yangcheng in China? The nights in Yangcheng are very beautiful, and it is a very handsome modern metropolis. The food there is also very delicious, and the people are also very enthusiastic. I really like China. And you, which city are you from? Zhang Junyi smiled and said, I am from a mountain city. You may not be very familiar with this city, but it is a very well dot known city in China. The woman shook her head and said, well, I'm not quite sure. If there's a chance, I'd like to go to your city and see. Zhang Junyi smiled and asked, by the way, what's your name? She smiled and said her name, Kurumi Khan. Those who are curious about her appearance can search for it themselves, Zhang Junyi directly stated the meaning of her name, but of course, the last surname was not mentioned. Walnut. By the way, Khan Sang, is this a foreigner's surname? She smiled and said, Yes, my father is a foreigner, and he is also of mixed race. How do you know Kurumi means walnut? Zhang Junyi immediately converted into a very fluent standard Japanese and said to her, No wonder I think you have a bit of exotic charm, because your facial features are very three-dimensional, different from those that can easily distinguish mixed race at a glance. You can't say it for a moment, and overall, you are very beautiful. When Zhang Junyi spoke such Japanese, the mixed-race beauty Hu Tao was surprised and widened her eyes. Because during their communication, she kept talking to him in stumbling Chinese. She thought Zhang Junyi was the kind of person who came to Tokyo for a trip, and his Japanese proficiency was not very good. Who knew that Zhang Junyi's fluent standard language completely surprised her? Moreover, Zhang Junyi's Japanese fluency is like that of someone who has lived in Tokyo for many years, with no strange accent at all. Looking at the surprised appearance of Hu Tao, Zhang Junyi smiled and said, I know Japanese, didn't it surprise you? As an RB person, I'm not particularly surprised that you know our Chinese. At this moment, she regained her senses and communicated with Zhang Junyi in Japanese, Oh, have you ever studied abroad in Tokyo? Your Japanese is really amazing. I haven't lived in Tokyo before. I self-taught Japanese. When I was studying, I thought Japanese was quite simple. Then, when I combined it with my studies, I watched TV dramas and variety shows every day, and gradually my Japanese proficiency improved. When Zhang Junyi was talking about self-study, she could only sigh, you're really amazing. Nice to meet you. Hu Tao. Zhang Junyi smiled generously and extended his hand to her. She politely shook hands with him and said, Hello, I don't know your name yet. My name is Zhang Junyi, please give me some guidance. By the way, can I add your line? Sure. She took out her phone from her pocket and exchanged contact information with Zhang Junyi. This line software was just downloaded by Zhang Junyi last night. After adding his first friend, Zhang Junyi said, You are my first RB friend in line. You know, Chinese people don't use this chat app. She nodded and said, Well, I know you're using WeChat. I already knew about it when I was studying Chinese in China. Yes, we all use WeChat in China. Are you from Tokyo? No, I'm from Hokkaido. Now it was Zhang Junyi's turn to be surprised and said, we still have a good fate. I came to RB this time to go skiing in Hokkaido. Because there are no direct flights from my hometown to Hokkaido, I can only transfer here. I didn't expect to be so lucky to meet people from Hokkaido in Tokyo. When Zhang Junyi talked about skiing, she, who is also a skiing enthusiast, said with some size, speaking of skiing, I haven't skiing for many years since I came to work in Tokyo. For her, who grew up in the snowy country of Hokkaido, skiing is the only sport they can have fun playing in winter. Zhang Junyi So. What kind of job do you do? I am a model. In fact, when looking at her appearance and figure, Zhang Junyi had a rough guess that she might be a model, of course, just a guess. After receiving her accurate answer, 
Zhang Junyi pinched his chin and said thoughtfully, Is it a model? Looking at Zhang Junyi's slightly furrowed and contemplative expression, she thought he was doubting herself, so she smiled and explained, RB's models are different from those overseas runway models. We don't have too many requirements for height here. Zhang Junyi nodded and said, I know this, because it's the same in China. Magazines don't require height for print models, but body proportions. Indeed, as a model, proportion is very important. At this point, there aren't many topics left for the two of them to discuss. And at this moment, Zhang Junyi began to constantly ponder in his mind, and had some thoughts. Can he invite her to be a guest performer? Because the main purpose of this trip was to shoot skiing videos, but Zhang Junyi flipped through many skiing videos placed on Xiaopa Station, and each one only introduced the ski resort and recorded their own skiing videos without much click-through rate. On the system side, Zhang Junyi needs to reach a click-through rate of 10,000 to start the next sport. Rather than starting the next sport, in fact, what Zhang Junyi values more is the cash reward given after starting the next sport. So how can he achieve a click-through rate of 10,000? Is it relying on accumulating by constantly posting videos? Or do you think you can take a different approach by hiring actors? As an old pervert who watches videos all year round, Zhang Junyi knows very well that a beautiful woman is needed in videos to arouse everyone's desire to watch. At first, Zhang Junyi really wanted to approach beautiful women in Tokyo and invite them to go skiing in Hokkaido. After all, only with beautiful women in the video can there be clicks. And now the beautiful woman around him is still a model, you should know that the profession of modeling alone is enough to attract attention. Moreover, she was born in Hokkaido and knows how to ski. If she goes with her, she will definitely give herself more clicks. If we were to stay at a hot spring hotel or something and plan a performance carefully, the audience would probably love it, right? Especially those online pornographic fans. So at this moment, Zhang Junyi is considering whether he can design a script. Starting from, hitting up, make the video feel like a TV series. Isn't there a lot of such, dramas, in short videos? And now there are some anchors in the anchor circle who specifically drive luxury cars to chat up, and there are also a lot of viewers. Can they also start a live broadcast themselves? Anyway, the audience doesn't know that everything is a script. End of this chapter